What is good, Sneaker YouTube? It is your boy, Coach Renosher, back at you guys after a bit of a hiatus. Uh, I apologize for the delay, man. I'm working two jobs right now. Um, it's hard to find a balance, especially coupling the fact that it's winter outside. It's getting dark at like 5.15. Without further delay, let's unbox another sneaker, review these joints, and check them out on Feet Fam. Let's hop right into it. This Friday and this Saturday, it seems like once or twice every year, especially in December, there's always one weekend of just pure bangers, drops upon drops upon drops and the crazy thing is is that certain things like the LeBron that PG they were scheduled to drop this weekend and they got pushed back at least in my region they didn't drop in any of the local stores that I know of but this Kyrie 5 did guys so guys any size 11 Kyrie 5 the colorway is multicolor slash metallic silver fam let's check these sneakers out all right, guys, there's the sneaker itself, Nike Kyrie 5, and what some people are dubbing the multicolor colorway. Honestly, all three of these Kyrie 5s that have dropped so far, if you look at the actual official color stamp on the side of the box, all three of them list multicolor in the colorway. This one definitely the most emblematic. Of course, I think the other ones are speaking a little bit more on the outsole and things like that. But I believe these things are actually being referred to as third eye vision. Definitely a dope colorway, definitely unique. If you look at these Kyrie 5s that have dropped, the three that have dropped this far, they're sort of a parallel between those three. I feel like in some of these Kyrie 4 initial drops what I mean by that with the Kyrie 4 is we had that confetti colorway that dropped on us initially of course they always drop that first initial limited colorway to try to build some of that hype with the shoe with the Kyrie 5s we had the tacos even though that didn't actually work out to be the first drop in some areas such as my area they pushed them back like two weeks and the black magic pair ended up dropping first but then when you look at that black magic colorway somewhat simple just a black and white shoe a colorway that can kind of appeal to most you know the younger generations the older generations a little bit more of a versatile colorway I feel like if you look back at the Kyrie fours you got that ankle taker colorway right which is very similar of course it was a different silhouette so you've got those hits of black and white in different places but essentially very similar color blocking between the two shoes and now that we've moved to this third Kyrie 5 drop the third eye vision third drop third eye vision right these sort of parallel the Kyrie 4 think twice colorway in that they were both a navy colorway if you take away the shroud from this actual Kyrie 5 it's not the busiest of sneaker colorways and honestly probably something I would have slept on like I slept on those Kyrie 4s um, it was at a point in time where I just wasn't convinced the Kyrie 4 and the colorways were gonna be busy enough for me to want to keep coming back and picking them up shortly thereafter I found out how mistaken I was and how hard those Kyrie 4s were going dry drop after drop. As we touched on a little bit, the sneaker is predominantly navy across the entire upper. Um, of course, that shroud really, really catches your eye. We'll kind of cycle back to that, but we've got navy from the toe cap to the medial and lateral portions of the sneaker to the actual tongue itself. The laces on the shoe are navy. That back heel portion, which of course features the all-seeing eye and sort of this slightly different nylon material, that's in navy even though it's a little bit darker. I think it just kind of comes across that way because of the sheen to that actual kind of nylon material that's back there. The rest of the upper and the toe cap, it's all this sort of mesh material, all the way down to the actual mud guard on that toe box. Those metallic silver hits are gonna be on the actual Nike swoosh on the medial and lateral portions of the sneaker, and then the actual Kyrie logo on the tongue. If you look at the insole, again, a navy insole, Kyrie's logo in white. Once again, you got a navy upper, you got a navy shoelace. The Kyrie line isn't really taking a lot of chances with these shoelaces. That Black Magic 5 lace swap video is coming soon too, guys. I just have been really pressed for time. Um, here lately, I've been working two jobs, basically from 8 a.m. to pretty much 11 p.m. at night. So as you can imagine, it's really hard to find daylight and time to film anything at all, especially these review videos where I'm trying to do on feet and show you some looks of the shoe up close and stuff like that. As we look back at this Third Eye Vision colorway, the actual midsole and outsole are white. As you flip to the outsole of the shoe, you've got, of course, those multicolor hits all across those eyes that dominate the actual outsole of the shoe. I feel like this particular outsole is so similar to the Black Magic 5 outsole. Um, it's kind of crazy. I actually had them both in hand today when I was picking these joints up, and I was really surprised at how similar even the colors that they chose to use were. They just kind of hit you with some different order to the colors. Kind of crazy that they went with those selections. As you look at the shroud itself, that is definitely the dominant 
dominant feature, the feature of this sneaker that's gonna catch your eye, the polarizing feature, the sort of love it or hate it feature of the sneaker itself. I dig it. I like colorful, vibrant, sometimes even rainbow print kind of things. I have so many sneakers in my collection, man. It's hard for me to really wanna go out and pick up a navy sneaker with silver accents or a navy sneaker with white accents, you know what I mean? It's gotta be more than that. So for something like this, having this multicolor sort of galaxy print to the shroud, I think it was really a must for this colorway, definitely sold the colorway. I can definitely see why, you know, some of the older generations and why some people, it's not for everybody. It's definitely a polarizing colorway, I guess is the best way to say it. You've got hits of purple to blue to pink to sort of this green to like turquoise and it all kind of blends together with the hits and spots of white that sort of give it that galaxy vibe. All in all, I really dig it. I think that with the right lace swap, this shoe could really go hard and really turn some heads. So like I said, stay tuned for that video, guys. So guys, let's do what we all came here for. Let's check these joints out on feet, fam. I appreciate you guys rocking with my video, fam. Smash that thumbs up or down button for me, guys. Sub to the channel if you haven't yet. Throw me a comment down below, guys, and you know I'll respond. Thank you, guys. Happy holidays to you guys. Much love to you guys. Stay blessed, fam. Peace.